Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 5th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here, looking at our sun, the last six hours, large plasma blast in the outgoing position. Slowed down the imagery there, 304 angstroms. Looking at the last two days of imagery, no new solar flares to report. We still have the incoming coronal mass ejections. Look up tonight if you have clear skies. Right across Ontario, you will. Having a look at multi-spectrum here, big coronal hole in the northern hemisphere. You can see it noticeable there. Big darkened region that is a cooled region of the sun and can produce some very fast solar winds headed towards Earth. Another light here. Just some amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed with daily events worldwide. A little bit of a glitch there, speeding up some time, but no time is missing. And again, no new solar flares to report. Sun has gone quiet since that large X9.0 or 9.1 solar flare. Earth directed from some pretty nasty sunspot regions that are facing our planet right now. Especially 3848. Top left-hand region. I've been pointing it out the last few days. Getting ready for the Earth-facing party. Are you ready? Stay aware and prepared. All these new frequencies, cosmic energies are on their way. Northern Lights tonight. And tomorrow night. Let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours. As I did put out an earthquake warning last night. And across the Pacific Northwest and up into Alaska was where I had warned. We did see some sizable activity here at Gune, Alaska. Alaska through the Aleutian Islands starting with a 5.4. Small swarm of strong earthquakes there. Aftershocks through the region and spreading. As well notable activity here off the coast of California. Petrolia, California with a 3.7, as well as a 3.6 here at Furnace Creek, California. Other than that, no major swarms to talk about. USGS only reporting 200 earthquakes in the last 24 hours. Interesting earthquake here, Karori, New Zealand, 5.1 magnitude, as well as 5.1 Kermadec Trench, Kermadec Islands, 5.4 Nafu, Tonga region. And that's the deepest, and there is our largest. So, 206 kilometer depth, Vanuatu, and 5.4 Fiji, as well as 4.9 there, the Philippines. Notable earthquake here, Iran, Semnon, Iran. Bit of a curious place for an earthquake. Don't report them often. As well, Flores, Portugal, in the middle of the North Atlantic, 4.8 magnitude earthquake continual seismicity through the Caribbean plate and as well the Cocos plate down into Chile. Other than that, as I said, no new swarms to talk about. Largest earthquake this week being the 6.6 .6 Tonga. Deepest being a 610 kilometer depth. Indonesia. Heads up, everybody. Stay aware and prepared, and that's what this channel is all about. Giving you the latest update on earthquakes, volcanoes, world weather, and as well, space weather. Always starting out with that, because it's just some amazing stuff. Our sun is everything. And when we see increased cosmic energies coming from our sun, a.k.a. solar storms, we definitely see an uptick in seismicity. So, heads up. Let's have a look at our sulfur dioxide emissions forecast. This is brought to you by our 66 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet. If you want to check out the latest volcanic activity report, there's going to be a new one coming out soon. But still, we're reporting 66 volcanoes around the world. You can see where all of these deep sulfur emissions are coming from. As we look across Europe now. You can see some pretty sick, uh, thick SO2 particulates coming out of the Mediterranean. And as well, the New Madrid, United States. 
looking at a very volcanic region through Indonesia, Micronesia, up into Japan. And some very big low pressure systems around the world getting ready to hop into winter time. The polar vortex is getting ready to set up. Stay tuned, we'll give you some visuals of that. After we have a look at Southern Hemisphere right now, South America, a lot of fires still burning through the Amazon. Now let's have a look at world weather. Huge low pressure systems in both the North Pacific and Atlantic right now. You can see those on both sides of their screen right now. Strong low pressure system moving through Hudson Bay and as well a tropical system grinding through the Gulf. Looks like it's going to be taking about three or four days before it finally gains strength. Heads to the Florida Panhandle. Parts of Western Canada, higher elevations will see snow. Same with some regions in parts of Quebec, Northern Ontario and Northern Manitoba. Big, massive systems right now. Look at the size of these things. Folks, it is going to be a very nasty weather or sorry, very nasty winter for weather. Even the farmer's almanac is saying the same thing. And I tell you, it is ramping up to be a doozy. We've got tropical systems that are going to be heading into France this week. Massive low pressure systems affecting Ireland, United Kingdom, all of Central and Northeastern Europe. Look at these systems. They're getting stronger. They're getting bigger. It's kind of blowing my mind. I've been reporting for the past seven years on YouTube that this was all going to happen. And, it, and it's kind of unfolding before my eyes, before our eyes now. Keeping humanity aware and prepared to all these great changes that are happening across the planet. Much love and thank you everybody for watching. Looking at all of this moisture falling for the next week. This is our world weather forecast. Possible cyclone there close to Sydney. This is a look at our northern hemisphere. Upper level winds. So this is 30,000 feet and higher. This depicts where our north pole is. As all of the winds swirl around our magnetic north pole our sun helps keeps those keep those speeds going and has since the beginning of time through solar cycles we are on the verge of a very crazy winter i do believe having a look at things last year These are upper level winds. Look at those intense winds around the equator. And things were already kind of setting up here at this time last year. And right now, we've got an intense southern hemisphere. Look at our southern hemisphere polar vortex. This is very intense. Some of these winds are upwards of 430 kilometers per hour. Big changes on our planet, and it's evident. This is all going to snap back into our northern hemisphere for winter. Get ready, because it's going to be a long, wet, and cold winter across North America. And shockingly warm before, and dramatically cold once we, get, once we get into it. So, mark my words, everybody. These changes are happening right before our eyes. Much love. No fear here. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily new. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.